All righty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your NXT TakeOver, the end, or whatever, <laughs> review. Um, a good show, you know what I'm saying, it wasn't as good as some of the other takeovers, but it was still a good show, I guess, there. First match, Andreda Cien Almas. Um, probably didn't pronounce that right there. He defeated Ty Dillinger. Apparently, this is another guy that's big in the Indies. Everybody's big in the Indies, apparently. There. Um, this was like an okay little indie style match, I guess. It finished with a double knee to the face in the corner. It looked more like a crotch to the face, but whatever there. Um, it was okay, but not that impressive there for me personally. Second match, the Revival defeated American Alpha, which was friggin' shocking. These guys pretty much just won the belts recently. It looked like they were going to be a team that was going to get pushed and shit, and they lost right away to Dash and Dawson. Which is pretty freaking shocking. Didn't expect that there. I'm not sure if that was the best move to do. But the match was pretty friggin' good for a tag team match. Lots of good double team moves. False finishes and shit. And then Revival ended up winning. Which was shocking. So pretty entertaining match. In the third match, Nakamura defeated Austin Aries. Favorite match of the night, dog. And Austin Aries was dominant throughout the match. He kept reversing all of Nakamura's offense and shit. And um, he made some kind of mistake there in the match. And then Nakamura just destroyed him. Some kind of flying knee right to the face off the second rope. Looked real as fuck there. Then he finished him off with the big knee strike finish there. A pretty freaking good match I thought there. Fourth match, Asuka defeated Nia Jax. This was okay I guess. Another strike finish, kick to the face there. Um, you know, they shouldn't have like every match end with an indie kick to the face though. You know what I mean? You need wrestling moves and a wrestling match. Like Nakamura's cool. He does it well. His kicks and knees look real big time, you know, but... You can't have that shit in every single match there because then it's going to look just like indie wrestling and you don't want that though, you know. Fifth match, the, the main event, Samoa Joe defeated Finn Balor and this was a good cage match, you know. Um, Finn, um, Samoa Joe jumping off the second rope with a muscle buster which looked pretty damn impressive. I'm happy that Samoa Joe retained the belt. You know, good match. And now hopefully Finn Balor is going to go to the main roster. Enough is enough with this bullshit there. It's time for Finn Balor to go on Raw. Join the club or fight the club. Whatever the fuck he's going to do there. But... Hopefully, Finn Balor is going to join Raw soon there. Um, the show was good, like, you know, not the best takeover, to be honest there, but it was still a good show with good wrestling there, so I enjoyed it. Until next time, peace!